Yeah. Who else is in the house? Only the, the cook. cook. The cook! Oh. <laughs> Hi. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Bruno Brito. Today I'm going to show movie, you understand? It's very hot. I can't. I'm dying. Well, today we're going to watch Clue. Clue is a movie from 85, and I think that... I think it's based on the game, or the game is based on this. I watched a long time ago, but the only thing that I remember is like flames, flames going in my face, something like that. This is gonna come out in the last day of the year, so happy new year. Um, let's hope that <laughs> I can't show me posting this in 2024. I really hope you like this video, in case you do, you can subscribe, give it a like, and help me reach 1,000 subs someday. And also I have a page where I'm gonna post full reactions, LSs, and post next videos. Now that I have a better computer, all my full reactions are in my Patreon already, so Go check it out, that's everything of Harry Potter, uh, Insidious, Death for Housewives, The Fall of the House of Usher, that's it. I'm hot and there's a fly here. I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> oh, there's King Curry here. Of course, I need to react to the rock horror picture show. Oh, okay. Based on the game. Where's Shin Curry? He stopped making movies. My god. Ah, okay. <laughs> it's not his fault. Why do you dress like that? <laughs> it is normal. <laughs> the boobies vanished. Is everything ready? We miss you. <laughs> She's smelling the poop. Everything all right, Mrs. Hayo? Dinner will be ready at 7.30. Okay, my God, relax. It is Colonel Mustard, isn't it? Uh, no, that's not my name. My name is Colonel. Yes, sir. But tonight, you may well feel obliged to my employer for the use of an alias. Ah, okay. I only know this actor because he's the teacher from... Sabrina the Teenage Witch. <laughs> Everybody's smelling the poop. Yvette, would you attend to the Colonel and give him anything he requires? Within reason, that is. Okay, we are there. Madam, you are expected. Do you know who I am? Only that you are to be known as Mrs. White. Ah, okay. <laughs> Everybody. Ah, may I introduce you? Is Yvette the maid? I see you know each other. Oh, okay. Hello. Hello. Everybody know each other? Oh, okay. <laughs> it's Matt. Want a lift? Yes, please. Wow, he's so younger. Late. Great Scott! You too. Where are you going? Hill House, off Route 41. Wait, the Hill House? Really? So I'm going to check that dinner will be ready as soon as all the guests have arrived. I just realized, in Back to the Future, he was dressed as an old man. He was not an old man yet. Oh, you must be Mr. Green. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> not you, sir. Okay. But he'll be really fast. Uh. What a god for second place. Ah, really? Awful. <laughs> okay, beautiful dress. That's a dress, you know. <laughs> Dinner. My God, my ears. The butler is head of the kitchen and dining room. I keep everything tidy. That's all. Well, what's all this about, butler? This dinner party? Is that his name? I prefer Kipling myself. The female of the species is more deadly than the male. You like Kipling, Miss Scarlet? Sure, I'll eat anything. <laughs> Shark's fin soup, madame. Wow, they look very fast to hear. The seventh guest, Mr. Body. I thought Mr. Body was our host. Sorry, yeah. 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 Mm, we are there. Well, someone's got to break the ice, and it might as well be me. Very intrigued, and oh my, this soup's delicious, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you say you are used to uh, I work in Washington, too. Washington? So you're a politician's wife? Yes, I, I am. Well, come on then. Who's your husband? They can't say it. What's the food? This is one of my favorite recipes. I know, madam. Oh, it's on purpose. 
Something's going on here. Are you afraid of silence, Mrs. Peacock? Yes, but what? No, why? Oh, well, it just seems to me that you are. You seem to suffer from what we call pressure. Oh, your therapist. Then. You also live in Washington, D.C.? How did you know that? Have we met before? I've certainly seen you before. Although you may not have seen me. Everybody lives in the same place. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present Mr. Body? I would. Uh... What are they all doing here? Eating dinner. I believe we all received a letter. Wait, you too? Can I interest any of you in fruit or dessert? What's the dessert? That was a fast dinner. I suggest we adjourn to the study for coffee and brandy. Ooh. At which point I believe our unknown host will reveal his intentions. Okay, that was a really fast dinner. Everything seems so sexual, you know. It's a hoax. I suggest we all leave. I'm sorry, sir. You cannot leave this house. No. What? Who's gonna stop me? There's no... Okay, that's not his voice. That's ADR. Please return to the study. Everything will be explained. As if. You too, Mr. Body. Other way! Well, it's a giant house. Why not? It's on the glass! <laughs> wow, how many dogs do we have here? <laughs> You're not fool. <laughs> I just ate it. Ladies and gentlemen, you all have one thing in common. You're all being blackmailed. Oh. But nobody could blackmail me. My life is an open book. I've never done anything wrong. Uh... Anybody else wish to deny it? It's because of the government's office. Thank you, Yvette. Yvette is scared. His license to practice has been lifted, correct? Why? What did he do? You know what doctors aren't allowed to do with their lady patients? Yeah. Well, he did. Oh, really? How disgusting. Are you making moral judgments, Mrs. Peacock? How then do you justify taking bribes in return for delivering your husband, Senator Peacock's vote to certain lobbyists? My husband is a Senator Peacock. Oh, how would you know? When were you in that men's room? So it's true. No, it's a vicious lie. <laughs> I love the drama. <laughs> this is theater. I too am being blackmailed for something I didn't do. Me too. And me. Not me. You're not being blackmailed? Oh, I'm but being I blackmailed, dig it. all right. But I did what I'm being blackmailed for. By a gentleman with the company of a young lady for a short while. Okay. Yeah? What's the phone number? <laughs> you know Colonel Mustard works in Washington. Is he one of your clients? Certainly not. I was asking Miss Scarlet. Well, you tell him it's not true. It's not true. Is that true? No, it's not true. Ha <laughs> ha! So it Wait, is. Wait, I'm confused. And Colonel, you drive a very expensive car for someone who lives on a Colonel's pay. I don't. I came into money during the war when I lost my mommy and daddy. Oh, okay. This is quite. You've been paying our friend the blackmailer ever since your husband died under, shall we say, mysterious circumstances. Ah! Oh! He didn't actually seem to like me very much. He had threatened to kill me in public. My God. He was found dead at home. His head had been cut off, and so had his, uh, you know. <laughs> Do you miss him? Well, it's a matter of life after death. Now that he's dead, I have a life. But he was beautiful. That was beautiful. Your past husband also disappeared. But that was his job. He was an illusionist. <laughs> he reappeared. He wasn't a very good illusionist. <laughs> this is amazing. I have something to say. Sure. We are having a theater play here. For Wadsworth here to unmask me. I work for the State Department. I know this And I'm a homosexual. He's like, okay, there's no one in here. Oh, hadn't you guessed? He's the one who's blackmailing you all. Put him up, man. Put him up. Put him up. <laughs> the police are coming. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my God. It's not so easy. You'll never tell the police. Because he will tell. I have evidence in my possession, and this conversation is being tech recorded. Oh, point of order! Oh, okay. That's what he's scared. Where are you going this time? I think I can help them make up their minds. Can I just get my little bag from the hall? That has surprises. What were you told precisely? Merely that you were all meeting to discuss our little financial arrangements. Wow, he's kind of cute. He's weird, but he's cute. Open them. I enjoy getting presents from strange men. I love her. Oh, candlestick is the... The thing for the gaming. If one of you kills Wadsworth now, he has the key to the front door, which he said would only be opened over his dead body. Can we just grab him and take it? We have to kill him. Now. Ah. <gasps> Somebody did something. Body. Stand Body. back! Come here! Let me see. He's dead. He's dead! How? 
Nobody. Look, there's no gunshot wound. The bullet broke that vase on the mantel. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> Guy. Maybe he was poisoned. Mrs. Peacock, please. Mrs. Peacock, it's all right. <laughs> Sit down, Mrs. I had to stop her from screaming. Fair. It's like we'll never know. Unless, unless she dies too. Ah, <laughs> uh, what now? I'm so invested in this, like, yeah. <laughs> we don't make movies fun like that anymore. I mean, we did. Bottoms was great. Totally killer. Okay, forget it. We are getting them back. You're alive. No, thanks to you. What do you mean? Why were you screaming in here all by yourself? Exactly. Why are you gonna do with that? In fact, I was his butler. So if he told you to invite us all to his house, why did he arrive late? I invited you. In fact, I wrote the letters. Oh. It was all my idea. Wait a minute, I, I... This is confusing. Please sit down, everyone. Why now? There's a dead body here. I love that they all sit down. <laughs> okay, this is homophobia. <laughs> he believed that you were all thoroughly un-American. <laughs> I was a victim too. At least my wife was. She had friends who were... Socialists. <gasps> oh my god, no. <sighs> well, <laughs> we all make mistakes. <laughs> I'm so sorry for that. And to free all of you from the same burden of blackmail was to get everyone face to face, confront Mr. Body with his. Yeah, you think that nobody will kill him? Turn him over to the police. So everything is explained. But how he died? Nothing's explained. We still don't know who killed him. My God, we can't have them come here now. But can, can nobody call and be like, oh, don't come? I don't know. Yeah. Who else is in the house? Only oh, the, the cook. cook. The, the cook. cook. Oh. <laughs> I'm loving this. <laughs> I'm loving this. My God, every time. <laughs> There's so many little details on this movie. My God. She's not here. <laughs> Somebody help me, please! You didn't help her. Who did it? When, when was this? Don't touch it! Oh, it was the maid. She was the only one alone. Now, who did this? We can't take fingerprints. Husband should be like Kleenex. Soft, strong, and disposable. You lure men to their deaths like a spider with fl- I'm gonna have a tattoo this way. Look! What? what? The body's gone! Huh? <laughs> what are you all staring at? Nothing. Well, who's there? Nobody. What do you mean? Nobody. Where's the body? What do you mean? Mr. Body's body, it's gone. Maybe he wasn't dead. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Maybe there is life after death. Life after death is as improbable as sex after marriage. Maybe. Okay, she has a silly therapy. The cook! Yes! Look. How? He was here, I don't know. Those are the negatives to which Colonel Mustard earlier referred. Oh, my God. Are you planning to blackmail him, Wadsworth? Certainly not. Nobody can get into that position. Sure they can. Let me show you. My God. Get off me. Ah! Mr. Murray, ah! he's attacked on her. He's dead. Somebody punched her again. He was not bleeding like that. Sorry, cancer. I'll catch him. Oh. Pour into my arms. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. You've got blood on your hands. I didn't do it! I just grabbed him. He's got new injuries. Well, he's certainly dead now. We're trying to find out who killed him and where and... Wait, who put that candlestick... To shout... I'm not... Who the put that candlestick up there, you know? All right, I am! Oh, we kill with him? I'm shouting, I'm shouting! Okay, that was convenient. Oh. oh. Wait, he died also, no, no? The dagger will go Felsa into her back. Tip her forward over the arm. Uh. Can somebody remove the dagger? Let's put them all in this cupboard and lock it. There's a homicidal maniac about. I think that's a good idea. That means that you can open it whenever you want. But it also means that you can't. But what if you're the murderer? I'm not. But what? How are we gonna know? Sorry. Hi. My car broke down out here and I was wondering if I could use your phone. 
Just a moment, please. Let's talk about it. <laughs> in front of you. Where is it? What, the body? The phone. What body? But there's nobody. Nobody. There's, there's nobody in the study. No. 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 <laughs> Okay. What now? Wasmuth, let me out. No. Why not? No man in his right mind will be alone together with you. Oh. Well, I <laughs> the drink. Oh, oh so I could I. <laughs> Just checking. Everything all right? Yep, two corpses, everything's fine. <laughs> Everything's great. There is nobody else in this house. No. Then there is someone else in this house. No, sorry, I said no, meaning yes. What? Yes. And there are two dead bodies in the study. Shh. Shut up. I suggest we handle this in proper military fashion. We split up and search the house. Split up? This is stupid. We have very little time left, so we'll split up into pairs. Pairs? Yes. But it is dark upstairs, and I am frightened of the dark. Will anyone go with me? I will. I will. No, thank you. <laughs> I suggest we all join. Like I'm busy, bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Mr. W Mrs. White because she looks fun. I love that it's not showing because it's already putting which person is gonna grab which which thing. It's you and me, honey. Bunch. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he's awful. <laughs> Sin, you go in front. All right. You're gonna go? No, 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 I insist. No, I insist. Well, what are you afraid of? A fate worse than death? No, just death, isn't that enough? <laughs> Me, fair. Are you going in there? Yes, are you? Yes. They always care of each other. <laughs> um, I don't see any light switches in there. Well, neither do I, but there must be switches. Ah, you're not the bullet for you. you don't you know that he has. Oh my god, my belly! <laughs> Nice camera work, congrats. What room is this? Search me. Okay. Get your mitts off me. Honestly, I lose count how many times you touch her. Oh, is that a camera girl doing this? Because he said that he was in the kitchen. And how he got the key? Oh, shit. And I've been locked into the lounge. Yes. I mean, it's not the butler. It's not the butler. Because the, but the butler will be the only person to know about this passage. It's my old boss. Oh. Oh, he knew one of them. Should we see where it leads? Why? What the hell? I'll go first. I've had a good life. <laughs> Wow, it's gigantic, but also the house is gigantic. Wow, you think so? Oh, they are locked. Oh, God! Oh, God! Wow, this is great. This is just like Scooby Doo. I can't. <laughs> the key is gone! Never mind about the key! I locked the door! How am I gonna do it? I can't take any more scares. No, it was unlocked. Unlocked? Yes. Merci for yourself. Oh. <laughs> I love that her eyes. Oh, why you threw the gun? Her eyes are getting thicker and thicker. It was open already. A likely story. <laughs> oh, what now? I didn't do it. The key. Oh, now you have a key? How many? Why individual keys? Why don't you have a... A bunch of kids together. Sir. 
<laughs> yes. Did the driver come in here for any help by any chance? No. No, 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 no. Guys, can you say that you guys, one of them? Can I come in and use your phone? Of course you may, sir. You may use the one in the um. Um, other place. Oh, would you be kind enough to wait in the um, in in the um, uh, library? Sure. Oh, I just realized. Also, oh my God, this I'm so stupid. Just like the gaming, it's one of them is dying in with a different weapon and with a different in the different place. <laughs> Not the cognac. Just in case. Just in case of what? You are a police officer, you're not worried. You are a black police officer. We should have told him. Oh, very well, you say that now. I said it then. Oh, oh, shut shut up. up! Let's clean this up. Why? Why do we have to clean? Why now, guys? What's going on here? Uh, we're having a party. You can show him around, Mr. Green. Me? Yes. yes. I'll show you the dining room, or the kitchen, or the ballroom. And that's it. Come on. What's going on in those two rooms? Uh, which two rooms? Oh, shit. If you would tell me I'm the only one that you love, <laughs> hope we'll meet again. Our life could be a dream. I'll let you have some words. Not all that shocking. These folks are just having a good time. If you would let me spend my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> it's face be like okay this is too much for me <laughs> this man's drunk dead drunk <laughs> somebody will give him a lift huh oh we'll 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 get him a car a long black car a limousine <laughs> <laughs> i can explain everything you don't have to i don't don't worry there's nothing <laughs> about any of it's, you, it's a free country don't you know that i didn't know it was that free <laughs> Please call police or any games! Oh, shut up! Let's get on with it! Monsieur? Ah, guys! Oh my god. <laughs> Poor actor. Poor actor. Oh my god. One that you love, life could be a dream. Oh, that's how a person can go around the places without being detected. Oh, who is it? <coughs> she lived Mr. Green or he was Mr. Green? Hello? And they are not the only ones. <gasps> it's you! <coughs> Wait. Something funny going on around I'm here. confused. Who was it? I don't know what it is. Ah, for him. But I have a feeling that I'm in danger. You know that big, ugly house on top? Oh, they were like. Are you there? <coughs> oh, nice shot. I am your singing telegram. <laughs> like, shut up. <laughs> Wait, so it was all the weapons, right? Oh, everybody was alone for a moment. Ah, for her. <laughs> I love that they're not screaming. <laughs> like, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, guys, let's leave the house and, like, buy, the, you know? Okay, this is gonna be a problem. He's a police officer. I heard the front door slam. Oh, God. The murderer must have run out. Ah, Paho, she was only singing. Three murders. That's a beautiful. Six altogether. This is getting serious. Yeah, we have a serial killer in our hands. But none of them is getting killed. Very well. I know who did it. You did it. What? And furthermore, I'm going to tell you how it was all done. At the start of the evening, Yvette was here by herself. Yes. Waiting to offer you all a glass of champagne. Really? We're gonna go to, to the whole movie? Then I hurried across to the kitchen. <laughs> This is necessary. Any of you who use any name other than your pseudonym, I introduce myself to you as the butler, and I ran across the hall to the library! My god, congratulations to King Curry, to me, my eyes, all this. Hello. And I noticed that Mrs. White and Yvette flinched. Yeah, they know each other. There was a rumble of thunder and a crash of lightning. <laughs> and to make a long story short, two legs! One by <laughs> all this came out after dinner in the study. You're right. What? 
Maybe one of us was murdering the cook. Who wasn't here with us? I don't remember yet. Just watch the movie. Do you know? I do. One of us could have stayed in the study, picked up the dagger, run down the hall, <laughs> and stabbed the cook. Well, why should we believe you? Because she was with us all in the billiard room doorway. Who was it? Did none of you deduce that the others were involved too? What? Oh. And did that? No. no. That's how he got all his information. Oh, and the guy who the car broke down is the boss. Discovered their guilty secret. The cook and Yvette were his accomplices. Oh. Oh, I knew that. My husband had an affair with her, but I didn't care. I wasn't jealous. Oh. You, didn't you? Yes, she worked for me. And you also knew her, sir. We've already established that you were one of Miss Scarlett's clients. Photographs of you and Yvette in flight. Oh. Look, we came back from the study with Yvette. Mr. Bonnet was on the floor, <laughs> pretending to be dead. But one of us knows he's alive. Yeah. So... I was <laughs> Well, where is he? <laughs> <laughs> the murderer came out of the secret panel, picked up the candlestick. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Body pulled this out of the Oh, okay. Oh my god, this is so interesting. <laughs> I'm doing it! <laughs> Will you stop that? No. It took less than half a minute. So who wasn't there the entire time in the kitchen? Whoever it was is the murderer. Guys, I'm gonna edit this. <laughs> I'm gonna edit this movie, I'm gonna pay attention to this. What is your top secret job, Colonel? I can tell you. He's working on the secret of the next fusion bomb. <gasps> oh my god, it's Oppenheimer. You know that? Can you keep a secret? Yes. Say so banana. Was this a plot <laughs> Bad luck that that motorist arrived at that moment. It wasn't luck. I invited him. You, you did. did? My god. I got them here so they give evidence against him and force him to confess. Oh, yeah? What about that motorist? Wait, by, why he acted like his car broke down, you know? My driver during the war. He knew that I was a war profiteer. I stole essential Air Force radio parts and I sold them. My god. The cop was from Washington. He was on my payroll. Oh. I bribed him once a week so I could carry on with business. And the singing telegram girl? Who knew her? She was my patient once. Oh. I had an affair with her. That's very coincidental. That's how I lost my license. Like, I know that he invited, but why all everybody was acting like they know don't know each other, you know? And then the doorbell rang. <laughs> Good evening. Have you ever given any thought to the king? Why now? What? Repent. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. <laughs> but your souls are in danger. Our lives are in danger, you beat Nick. <laughs> <laughs> the cop arrived next. That's a trailer sentence. That! She was in the billiard room listening to our conversation, picked up the dagger, ran to the kitchen, and stabbed the cook. Why? You hear the cook scream. Then Yvette returned to the billiard room. She screamed, and we all ran to her. Oh. Why? To create confusion. It worked. It worked. Because she was acting under orders from the person who later killed her. Who? 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 Was it one of her clients? The boss? It was her employer, Miss Scarlet. That's a lie. Is it? How could I have known about the secret passage? Easy. Yvette told you. Oh. So, again, you switched off the electricity. It Wait, really? You Ladies, empty your purses. Whoever has the gun is the murderer. Oh, really? The whole town would be implicated if you were exposed. I don't think they know my real business. Oh. My business is secrets. The secrets of Senator Peacock's defense committee, Professor Plum's UN contacts, what if we don't cooperate? Oh, uh, honey. You will, or I'll expose you. There are no more bullets left in that gun. There was one shot at Mr. Body in the study, two for the chandelier, two at the lounge door, and one for the singing telegram. That's not six. One yes. plus two. There was only one shot that got the chandelier. That's one plus two plus one plus one. Even if you were right, that would be one plus one plus two plus one, not one plus two plus one plus one. Okay, fine. One plus two plus one. Shut up! <laughs> oh! Oh, that's right, the police. I forgot about the police. <laughs> Where's the chief? Ah, of course. Sir. As I was trying to tell you, there are no bullets left in this gun, you see? One plus two. Honey. Plus one. Two oh, my God. Is. 
<laughs> Wait! <laughs> That's it? <laughs> That's how it... That's how it could have happened? What? What? But how about this? In a Wait! <laughs> what is this? Choose your fate? <laughs> Ran to the library! Hit the cop on the head with the lead pipe! Oh, one single shot, congrats. You murdered them all. You were the person who was missing when the cook and Mr. Body were murdered. You told us at dinner that we were eating one of your favorite recipes. And monkey's brains, though popular in Cantonese... Oh, really? We eat monkey's brains? Is that what we ate? <laughs> Mrs. Peacock did it all. There's no proof. Really? The gun is missing. Gentlemen, turn out your pockets. I don't know what the proof. Percy's. Whoever has the gun... Oh, it was in her. Uh, very well. Ah, uh, okay. So what are you supposed to do with them? We're gonna see each one of them being the murderer. In fact, I think we all owe you a vote of thanks. For she's a jolly good <laughs> For she's a Guys, good fellow. Guys, let's find a key. For she's a jolly good fellow. Which nobody can deny. Which nobody can deny. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, the second voice. Can deny. Oh my god, I love this movie. For she's a jolly. Oh, Mrs. Peacock. How did you know my name? It's not her name, but okay. It's at hand. Okay, take her away. We always get our man. Mrs. Peacock was a man? <laughs> <laughs> Would anyone care for fruit or dessert? <laughs> that was great. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. This movie get now, Oscar. <laughs> so who's oh, it? Let's consider each murder one by one. Oh my god. You fired the gun at him in the dark and missed. That's how you were able to kill him later unobserved. Well, why? Right! He was the missing person in the kitchen after we found the cook dead. You killed the cook. She used to be your cook. Sitting here at dinner, Mrs. Peacock told us that she was eating one of her favorite recipes. And mon monkey's brains. brains. Though popular in Cantonese cuisine. Colonel <laughs> Mustard, when we saw the motorist at the front door, you took the key to the weapons cupboard out of my pocket. Then you suggested that we all split up. You separated from. Oh, each one of them killed one, okay. Killed the motorist with a blow on the head. Like that! But how we know of the passage? Split up again. I went upstairs with you. Yes, you, Mrs. White. And you. You hurried downstairs and turned off the electricity. Got the rope from the open cupboard. Where are you guys are finding gloves? You were jealous that your husband was stopping a vet. That's why you killed him, too. Yes. Oh, you did. You killed your husband. I hated her so much. It, it, the it, <laughs> flame, flames. Flames on the side of my face. Breathe. Okay, I know this. When she hit the cop whom she'd been bribing on the head with a lead pipe. The gun is missing. Whoever's got the gun shot the girl. I shot her. You? So I choose to expose myself. Please, there are ladies present. You thought Mr. Body. <laughs> Why? You keep You're him. Mr. Body. <laughs> Wait a minute. Who's the guy? So who did I kill? My butler. Ah. Oh, shucks. <laughs> no. Communism was just a red herring. Yeah, let's do the. Why should the police come? Nobody's called them. You mean, oh my god, of course. So why should. <laughs> we the well, I'll tell you why not. Good shot, Green. What? You die like that? Are you a cop? No, I'm a plant. A plant? I thought men like you were usually called a fruit. Very funny. <laughs> FBI. That phone call from J. Edgar Hoover was for me. But why he was calling the house? I knew it. So they're all gonna be arrested. Ah, for them, I love them. But if you want to know who killed Mr. Body, I did. In the hall, with the revolver. Okay, that was great. I'm gonna go home and sleep with my wife. What? <laughs> Why you need to be gay? Okay, that was great. That was amazing. Oh my god, that was amazing. I need. Oh my god, I have a group of friends that I know exactly that I'm gonna show this movie. Okay, that was Clue. Okay, guys, that was Clue. It was amazing. Oh my god. Oh my god, I love this movie. <laughs> this movie was great. This movie was awesome. First of all, thank god. One hour and a half, the movie's faster. And also, oh my god, thank god. This is exactly the kind of movie that I love. The kind of movie that is fun, you know, oh my god. I mean, in the beginning of the movie, I think that I said that, 
Oh, we don't have movies like that anymore. But we are coming back to them. Thank God. We are having Totally Killer. It's a wonderful knife. Um, bottom them doing the full reaction right now. Stupid movies, they are great. That's it. That's what I want, okay? Ah, oh, now everything has to be three hours of a serious movie, guys. Please, for the love of God. The clothes are amazing. The costumes are amazing. The storyline is amazing. It's very creative. I really love the different endings, even though the last ending was way better than everybody did a killing. And it makes more sense. Tim Curry carried this movie. My god, congrats to him. I can't say anything else except that it was great. Have you watched Clue? Oh my god, I really I really hope so. That's the that's one movie that I really don't want that people don't do a remake. This is perfect. Leave it as it is. As is goofy, as he kind of stupid. It doesn't show people slapping other people, but like, you know, not even reading next to the face, you know, something like that. So this little stupid stuff. Leave it like that. I need to watch my more older movies because this is for 85 and it was amazing. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm gonna love everything. I will hope you like this video. In case you do, you can subscribe, give it a like and help me reach 10,000 subs someday. I don't think it was this year. It happens. And also, I have a page where I'm gonna post for reactions, elections and post next videos. Probably the full reactions already open. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching till here and bye. It was Bruno with the dog in the bathroom. <laughs> Ciao, guys. Happy New Year.